Hi guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back. And I wanted to say that you guys who are joining, if it's not the type of reading that you're wanting, then you can move on. Um, I don't read like all readers do. I mix my readings between channeled messages and I'm now doing automatic writing in this series as well as the cards. Some people were asking for me to put the mile marker of like when the readings start. And I think that what you're asking is when do the cards start? And I don't use cards right at the beginning because I always talk about what I've been channeling first. So if you want to just fast forward to the cards, you're going to miss most of the messages. So um, keep an open mind if you do feel like you belong here. And if you don't, that's okay. Um, those of you who are new, I just thought I'd let you know I'm a little bit different in the way I set up my readings and energy forecasts and all of that. So, um, yeah, I don't give you what you specifically are wanting. I give you what spirit wants you to know. And so if you feel like you've come to this video and it doesn't align with you or you're not liking it, then just move right on. Um, I do know that there's a certain sector of you out there who are wanting these messages. So these are for you and thank you for joining. I also want to let you know that many of you have asked me for my cord cutting, you know, meditation and I've sent you some verbiage for it, but um, the other thing that I feel like everyone asks for is how do I, what type of 5D connection tool can I use for connecting with my twin flame? 5D connection is so important, especially in, um, in the separation period, any phase, whether you're going to be together or not in this lifetime, like you have to understand how to communicate at a higher level with your twin flame. The cord cutting is amazing for anyone that you want to clear negative energy with because it basically uplifts the purity of the connection when you cut away the um, negative attachments. So I have done many of these over the years and I'm talking about decades and I would tell you that I've seen what works and what doesn't and um, the cord cutting visualization that I have, meditation, I have formalized now into an audio recording I've done the same with a 5D connection tool. These are something that I know is not out there in the way that I'm doing it. And I feel like it's needed. One, because most, most things that are out there are not teaching you how to only cut away the negative cords of attachment. They're harsh and they're not all-encompassing. So I put together an all-encompassing <laughs> visualization that is more tender, more energetic, more of a higher level and it's still powerful yet it gets the job done yet it takes into consideration the higher connection and leaving that intact and the 5d connection tool that i just went with intuitively from my heart i do know what exists out there and i do know that there aren't many great tools in terms of guided meditations um cassidy kane has one and i think a lot of you have done it and and it's it's okay it's good you know it's fine i love cassidy kane um but i think you guys are ready for more and more specific type guided meditations that are specific to what twin flames are going to and the type of communication that and answers and information and um, energy that needs to be exchanged on a higher level um, yet it leaves so much room for whatever needs to come through to come through for your unique connection. So those two audio meditations I've put in a pack and you can just go on my website, put your email address in, put hit pay now and you'll get the two audio meditations. It's only $11.11 for both of them. Um, it's about mm, like 35 minutes of meditation um, I think the first one's like about 14 minutes and the second one is like maybe 22 minutes. So um, they're not extremely long, but they're perfect for they accomplish what you guys want to accomplish through this. So go to spiritualmaterialgirl.com and it's on the homepage and I also have it on the sessions page. Okay. And if anyone wants to work in 
individual session, you can check out all of those services on the website as well. All right, so this is part of the, this is the third formalized video in my Ascended Masters and Angels series. So basically calling this series Messages from the Masters, and I'm going to start with some automatic writing. Um, let's just see what comes through. Okay, so they're talking about mirth. I'm not even not even that familiar with this word. I've heard it. I think it's, you know, about joy and joyfulness. Um I think it's about this rainbow above and our connectedness below. Um that's how they sort of showed it to me, like earth and sort of like rainbow, you know, ethereal connection. But this felt more like joy, magic, you know. The word rebirth keeps coming today. So um, it's interesting, too, that they're showing me the earth as we move into this new moon in Taurus, which I will post a video with a full reading me on camera, cards, masculine, feminine, the way you guys like it. I will post that right up on the new moon energy at the end of the week. Um, but I think with this, this earth energy, they're still saying it's time to integrate um, the higher realm and anchor in our 5D timelines, I feel like, here on earth. And this is going to bring about a lot of joy and fulfillment For people okay um, if you're seeing rainbows I mean I said this several weeks ago but it seems to be that rainbows are coming in for the collective I've been seeing it everywhere I've been seeing it through I don't know if you guys have been noticing but on the reflection of my you know screens computer phone in mirrors on Anything that has like reflective surface, I've been seeing the rainbows in. And um, and additionally, I think I said in my last video that um, I've also been noticing it like in clothing, like being more attracted to it in like designs. So um, like clothing and fabric and like just the rainbow pattern, seeing little girls wearing rainbow t-shirts or people in right... Um, tie-dye like rainbow t-shirts and just seeing that kind of everywhere and you know I think in a way it, it's trying to tell us like it's the glimmers of like dreams come true situations improving um joy greater joy abundance magic manifestation um yeah, so mirth is a word that you might hear or identify with. And there's been a lot going on. And the masters want us to know at an energetic level, it's almost been like an earthquake. Okay? And we're like right, we've been over the past week like right here. <laughs> So if you guys have felt low or have been hitting low points, it's okay because they're saying like we're about to come back up. And when we come back up, we're going all the way up. This low point was necessary so that we could do more purging Okay, it, there needed to be, again, they're showing me earth, right? They're showing me an earthquake, a, a, literally a split in the earth or a chasm. And so they're saying like this low point or this crack had to happen to crack us open. 
So any pain that you've recently felt, I really do feel like a good majority of you delved into it. So yay for you. I mean, I know a lot of my clients, a lot of my friends did the work. They said, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. There's something under the surface. Earthquake. They felt the shake. They felt it. They felt the shake up. And then, but they went in and they found it and they went deep. And maybe it was low. Maybe it was like a low point. Maybe they had to dig up some stuff. Maybe they had to look way below the surface to find it. But that purging was huge. This, this purging that we, I have goosebumps all up and down my arms and my legs. The purging that we just did was huge. Like it was literally us letting go of the past. It was reconciling so many of our wounds. This was a big one. This was the one that's freeing us. Ugh, again, goosebumps to go on an upswing. So you are poised now, they're saying, to go up. And for many, I don't feel like the bottom fell out on your world. I don't feel, I felt, I feel like it was a shake up under the surface. And also what they're showing me is these parts uniting now. So like, like it's one, like there's a merge. It, there is a purge and a merge. Do you guys ever um, like combine spreadsheets and reconcile, like reconcile it and like they call it a merge and purge, right? So any duplicate, any duplicate names or email addresses or information will be purged out so that it's all just one merged document, right? Well, this is kind of like the opposite. We purged and now we're merging. So does that mean that we're bringing the old forward? Well, in a way, because I think that we're, we've transmuted it. We've let go of what no longer serves us. We've got answers from, from the depths, from the bottom, from the deep, deep, deepest parts of ourselves that needed that, that needed that information, that needed to feel the pain or re-experience it at some level. And now we can bring that forward in an integrative way and that integration is basically the shift from fear to love. Okay? Now, does it mean that you're able to vibrate just pure love all the time? No, probably not. I'm sure you're still working on these fear, these fear lines. But I think a good majority of you, a lot of you, have got a lot of the under-the-surface stuff up. And if you haven't, don't forget, you can come to me for soul coaching or guidance sessions and I can help you see into that and heal it. But many of you have and I'm proud of you and now it's time to practice alignment and it's time to really set forth with our manifestation power. Manifestation is going to be so rapid. I'm sure you guys are already seeing how synchronicities are speeding up. Not just manifestation but synchronicities like you say something and then boom you see it or you ask for something and then it appears or someone sends it to you that day or someone posts something on social media and then it applies to you or um you know all sorts of crazy things and i know i'm experiencing it as well as tons of others okay so we are seeing synchronicities everything's speeding up right now Okay, and we're going to have an opportunity to ground it all in. So, how do I feel about this new moon? I feel like it's great. I feel like the energy is just about to shift. And I mean, we're going to start feeling better in May. We're going to start um, moving forward more. We're going to really... Oh, you know, because we've been cracked open, we've really opened ourselves up to now climbing rather than being stuck. This was a sort of a stuck energy. This was stuck in the past, right? And stuck on the things that didn't serve us. So 
Now we're cracked open and we're like able to let some of that go and release it and surrender. And the surrender is not falling to your knees necessarily. All surrender is, is a shift from fear to love. So if you're making that shift now and you feel like things are starting to lighten up and your energy's coming back, you just wait. They're saying it's going to get more and more and more and you're just going to keep going up the ladder. It's like a, it's like this is the ascension ladder, but it's also like your energy is going to keep increasing this month. By June, you're going to have so much more energy than you've had in a long time. So if this has been a sleepy period, exhaustion, ups and downs, highs and lows, um, energetically all over the place, makes sense, makes sense. So listen to your body, what it re needs right now, and know that the energy is coming back in for us and collective energy is going to pick up, okay? This was necessary. The slowdown that just happened, it was a slowdown. We had to slow down so that we could go back up and that we could merge and reground. And now, as we reground, we're anchoring in the higher timelines rather than the old timelines, the old things, the outdated, the things that didn't serve us, the things we were stuck on, the things that we you know, weren't going to be for our highest good or highest purpose. Um, I feel guided to go to the cards. We might write a little bit more in a moment, but let's go to the cards. Oh, I always do this and it drives me crazy. Um, so we're, I always pull now for these readings from the Ascended Masters deck and the Archangels, but today they also showed me to pull from the Crystals deck for the Earth. And also, um, gosh, I forget what this deck is called. This is the, um, hold on, I have to tell you correctly because it's such a beautiful deck. Sorry, it's the Sacred Earth Oracle. Okay, I have to remember that. I just don't use it enough, so. So let's give this a shuffle and we'll see what the angels and guides want us to know. And lately, when I've been in like soul coaching sessions or even in readings, Mother Mary's been coming in a lot and we've been doing on the spot healings. If any of you have physical ailments going on, um, imbalance, things that you're just like, at the end of your rope with um, feeling frustrated and you want a physical healing reach out to me because we can we can arrange that mother Mary is quite powerful um, and it's like I work with her in tandem to facilitate the healing and we balance your chakras we send healing light to the body parts that require it and need it. Um, I, I get to, she shows me, she puts her hands over you and then I am shown the imbalances in your body and then we rectify it. Like I said, we balance the chakras, we rectify the imbalances. Um, she sends you all sorts of healing light and different, different things for different people. It's been really interesting to see all the different colors and things that she uses for every different person. Um, I know from holding workshops with her and from going to workshops on my own that everyone receives like a unique way of working with her, a unique language, unique tools. It's not always the same universal thing, right? But it's one thing to know that it's another thing to witness it so it's been really cool for me to witness how each person has their own unique language with her it's never like the same tools or the same recipe it's it's really amazing um and i'll try to get testimonials from some of those people so that you guys know um like how good it is the healing it's really amazing Okay, let's just start with the Ascended Masters deck. 
Okay, so this is, there's talking about purification. And this is kind of this purging and this merging and I feel like re-emerging. And again, remember I got rebirth. And this is also saying like, that water is going to really help you right now. So if your energy has been low or dipping up and down or you felt like you hit that low point that I showed you at the bottom of the chasm, drink more water, okay? Everyone is slightly dehydrated right now. Anyone on the ascension journey is you need to be drinking a ton of water. Water holds the vibration of unconditional love. It's amazing to, you know, for washing away emotions. If you just brought up a lot of stuff to the surface, okay, and that's emotional stuff. Those that's just like breaking. It's just like if you got a massage and you broke up the toxins in your body, or if you did like I do, like the celery juice and the, it's like a liver cleanse. Well. Anytime you have tox toxicity in your body, you've got to flush it out when the toxins get released, right? So I drink lemon water now in the morning. And I think for you guys, any level of emotional purging, healing that you've been doing, you need extra water. You need even more. One, to balance you out in the vibration of unconditional love and purity but also just to wash away the residuals and wash away any of the residual toxicities that might still be in there, okay? It help your, it'll help you balance. It'll help you purify. Really important. I know some of you are watching this and going, oh my God, yeah, actually, I do need to drink water. I have a dry mouth. Um, okay, so meditate. It's coming up in reverse. So this could be a call saying, you know, you're not spending enough time in nature because I've definitely been, been hearing that. Like everyone needs to go outside. But it's in too much time at like the computers or with our, you know, devices. But I also do feel like it is this sort of addiction to the mental thinking. And we're just being asked to quiet our minds and you know to feel that rainbow and to anchor in those 5d timelines we have to come in contact with what they are we can meditate in so many unique ways we can see our best self we can connect with our higher self we can visualize the things that we desire to manifest we can connect with our twin flame we can connect with loved ones on the other side we can just meditate for peace and relaxation to get out of our mental mind but doing meditative exercises or being in nature, any sort of meditative, something that's quiet and I feel like where your mind is at peace and in stillness, you know, or maybe this is why I was called to make those audio meditations, right? Because I'm feeling like the collective needs it. So I feel like that was intuitively guided as well. And we have mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada. Again, this is about leading with our feminine energy. Um, for some of you, I feel like you have a strained relationship with someone in your family right now that is a female. So it could be a mother or sister. Um, maybe for the masculine, it's your wife or um, could be your daughter. It feels like feminine and feminine though. So could it be the feminine within you masculine, but I'm really feeling like some of the females are having or had a clash with their mothers and sisters or daughters or someone close that's like a mother, sister, or daughter to you. And they're saying this clash was purposeful because there's some layer or level of this relationship that needed to be cleared and cleansed and purified. So whether you start anew in a new way or you choose to back off and not have such a close relationship, 
or it may be, I feel like for many of you, too, like it feels like two stubborn females or still you know, like two very closed hearted, stubborn females coming back together, rejoicing with an open heart. And I see this happening for some of you or the ones that I'm getting this message for um, actually close to Mother's Day. So I think that's May 12th this year. I'm not sure. I think I think that's the date. So, um, so that's really important. Um, this is also a call to lead with that open heart. Lead with, because you know when we're expressing from our false masculine expression, imbalanced masculine expression, a closed heartedness, a guardedness, a defensiveness, a stubbornness. Things don't go right. Things don't go well. But when we express our truth from an open heart and from trust and from our power, then things go better. So that's that's the message there, okay? The bottom of this deck is crystals. So I have been getting this message over and over and over again. Like we're not working with our, it came up in reverse and we're not working with our crystals enough. And crystals are huge right now. I feel like if you don't have them, go get them. If you don't have the right ones, it might be time to add a few more to your collection. If they're sitting in a box somewhere or in a little pouch, take them out, start working with them. This is a beautiful time, not only for manifestation, but for your healing, for your integration, for your ascension. For, your, for balancing, for purifying, for so many reasons. Okay, and then we have the unicorn. So let's go to, I told you, I had, I had the crystals deck ready. I knew it. So what crystals collectively should we be working with at this time to help us up level, to help us clear some of this, purify, have peace of mind and clarity and... Um, lead forth with a feminine, open-hearted energy. Okay, pyromorphite. I saw this come up in a session earlier this week or last week. And this is about patience. And notice it's green. And they're saying, I feel like the message is, Allow your heart to be patient. It's not about waiting. It's about allowing. And patience in the twin flame journey especially is so important. Patience with yourself and your own healing journey. Patience with the timelines unfolding. Because the thing is, like, it's all going to start happening so fast. And, you know, like, just because it's felt a little stuck or it's been taking a while now doesn't mean it's going to be that way in a month from now. So don't let your fear block things from unfolding because the truth is, is everything's about to speed up for everyone. And I can pretty much guarantee you that. So I would say this is a great crystal to be working with at this time, okay? Especially as representative of our heart and allowing, okay? Okay, solacite is coming up in reverse. So it's peace. So this is about finding that peace and I feel like that's that meditation, that stillness. It's It feels like stillness to me. It feels like purifying and then finding the stillness. And that might be, it might be you walking in nature but hearing the stillness of the woods, right? Of nature. Um, it could be, um, you know, this is about finding peace from within and I feel like it's about, st you know, stillness in your mind because there's been too much repetitive mental thinking and again, this is why they're telling us to meditate. And the ruby. So this is, I know... <laughs> I know what this means right off, right away, because they, I told you guys in July, we're anchoring in all our 5D timelines. The eclipsers are going to help us do this. By June, it's starting to crystallize. July, August, you know, and you really do have, this is like a height 
the height of the year is going to be in July. The height of this year. So after July, everything changes. Everything is starting to form and crystallize and new opportunities. You're heading in the right direction. It's exalted timelines. It's things speeding up. It's you shining. So we can use the ruby to call in that energy. And also for any of you cancers like me, I really feel like you will especially be shining this July, okay? So it's going to be a really great time for you um, or anyone who has cancer in their chart. Um, in July, you're especially going to be shining. But use Ruby to help you magnify your light, okay? And... Um, The other thing that they want you to know is your purpose does not have to be necessarily defined for you to shine so brightly. And for many, your purpose is going to be redefined or altered a little bit, maybe even unexpectedly. So this means that you might have been planning like to go in this direction or that direction and that might be still happening or that might get revised but something else is also going to come in and create a new opportunity for you. So like lots of new opportunities via synchronicity, I feel like. And I feel like, um, you know, for cancer specifically upcoming in the next few months, like popularity and um, like um, your reputation shining, your um Opportunities lighting up. I think opportunities lighting up for everyone, okay? So that's important. So what they're seeing by working with this energy now is like, yes, have patience and find peace and stillness. But pretty soon, like it's all going to start happening. So get ready to shine. Prepare for that. Start expanding your light. Start preparing for the success. Prepare for 5D timelines to be anchored. Prepare for unions. Prepare for it. It's happening. Prepare for opportunities to come your way. Prepare for your dreams coming true. Get excited about it. It's coming. It might feel like a long time coming, but it's coming. And the bottom of this deck is, I never know how to say this, Cascoxonite. But in, a, in any case, it's very pretty with all of these colors and it's symbolic of new beginnings. And this is what, this is what I'm saying. It's like the end, the the end, the final purge that we just did that was like a purge and merge meant that the way things, we thought things were going to be have now closed so that new beginnings can, can surface for us so that we can step forward and be in our exalted timelines. This could be new divine partners coming in for some of you, new travel opportunities, new expansion opportunities. New, new pathways illuminating on your mission. Um, so you may have just left something, a place, a job, and there's you might not know what's next, but this new beginning is coming and you're anchoring it in over the next couple months. Um, this is also new beginnings for Twin Flames. So the old way that your relationship was had to die. And so if many of you have been like mourning or grieving and you don't know why, it's because you, you're you mourning the old timelines, okay? They had to die for new ones to come. And you might not have those specifically as a vision in your mind. And that's okay because this is where you're being taught patience and allowance and how to surrender. It's about releasing expectation. And for many of you, what you were visualizing Although you were viewing it as like a possible timeline, it may have really been just an expectation. And in order for the two timelines to come to us so that we can really see what they really are and what is for our highest good, we need to let go of those expectations. And that's what I feel like you all have been doing. And so if it's felt like a grieving, it's okay. Yes, things have been closing up. Even if not in the physical, even in just an energetic way or in a way that um, you just kind of feel it on another level, this is why. And so, so many new beginnings are going to start happening over the summer during these next several months. Pretty exciting. 
Let's go now, let's do, go to the Archangel deck. So I'm basically going Ascended Masters, Crystals, Earth, and then we'll go um, Archangels, Higher, and then Sacred Earth, you know, again, grounding. So we're mixed. I like to mix the energies and I, I do whatever I'm guided, but today they were showing me mix the ethereal with the ground, you know, earth with the higher messages. Um, it's really important. And you may want to start doing this as a personal practice, right? You might want to have like earth decks or animal decks and also have like your higher master's deck decks that you work with and pull them in symbiosis, pull the cards in symbiosis, because I feel like that's how we're going to learn to more and more mesh the two, right? The higher, the 5D with grounding it in, in reality and this earthy energy. And, um, yeah, so hope that makes sense. So while I'm shuffling, I just want to take a moment and just say, I'm so excited that this is also my anniversary month. Um, three years and I can't thank you guys enough those of you who have been with me for this whole journey <laughs> it's been amazing and those of you who are new thanks and welcome and I'm just so so honored to work with all of you really truly just I just beam with gratitude so um so archangels are talking about clairsentience and Raguel is saying, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So with this coming up in reverse, I feel like maybe some of you are skipping over that. It's interesting to have this sort of magenta color. This is coming up a lot, you see. And I chose this magenta and it's seeking balance, this candle. And I feel like it's old and new. It's... um. You know, it's uh, balancing the 5D and the 3D. It's balancing your polarities. It's um, transmuting the pain into, you know, the new and, and art, artistic. I mean, that's something that's been coming to me as a download, especially for the feminine. Artistic, creative projects starting to heighten. You get, if you took a pause, you're getting back on course. If you... If you have been away from it for a while, you're going back to it, um, and maybe they'll reaffirm that with us in the cards, but for now, the message right here in front of us is about listening to the feelings that we're getting and trusting them um, and allowing ourselves to be guided. And, you know, it, it can be, it really can be as simple as that doesn't feel good, I'm not moving towards it that feels good or light, I'm moving towards it. This isn't a time to be saying no because of fear. It's time to be saying no because of our intuitive knowing. And it's definitely a time to say yes. And yes, because we're trusting. And yes, because we're feeling it out intuitively and it feels good or it feels light and we're moving towards it. So that's really important. And they're saying masculine specifically, you definitely need to trust your feelings, your gut instincts and your feelings and what you're feeling um, in regards to people. I feel like masculine's been a little confused by this um, this sort of clairsentience and like feeling, picking up on energies, feeling what the other's feeling. It's clouding his vision a little bit. Um, he's not trusting it all the way, so trust okay so we have in reverse again career transition this is again about you some of you either wanting to make or being in the midst of a career transition now's the time to really well it says your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change so this is the time to really have a come to Jesus right come to yourself and and, and, and really admit the truth to yourself. What is it that's going to feed my soul? Now, the problem with this is that we block it. We block it how? With doubt, with too much thinking, with overanalyzing, self-sabotage, um, limited thinking. Oh, I could never do that. That would be 
you know, I wouldn't be able to make enough money if I did that. Or, um, I, oh, I couldn't live my truth because what would other people think? Or, um, no, I have to stay and do this because I have a family to provide for. Or, um, you know, all these false beliefs. And they're saying, like, look at your false beliefs and understand what's behind them. What is that story that you're telling yourself that's limiting you? And what's behind it? And then once you discover that, ask yourself if I could create my ideal situation in terms of work environment, purpose of my work, fulfillment of my work, um, what would that look like? What would I want to be doing? You know, and draw this out, write it out. What would be the, this is where you're imagining it without limitation. What would be my ideal environment? What would be my ideal, um, you know, would it involve freedom, autonomy? Would I be my own boss? Would it be a certain, you know, area or industry that I'm working in? Would it be just that I'm giving up my gifts? Um, you know, is there also a certain amount of monetary reward or abundance that you'd be wanting to create with this fulfillment. Write that all down. Create it. Don't be afraid to think about it and get excited about it. Even if it's not on your radar yet, but you're just starting to think about what you want to do, this is a perfect time to dream it up and to allow yourself. And some of you have these career transitions happening very soon. I would say for the feminine, um, those of you that this applies to, like if you're in the midst of the career tr transition right now or starting it right now, I would say a lot of you by August, September, it's coming to fulfillment. And for the masculine who want to make the change, I would say from September through to the end of the year, even into early 2020, there's changes, okay? Physical manifestation coming to fruition. And... There you go. Here it comes. The prosperity is right behind that. Do you guys have goosebumps? I just got goosebumps. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Do we need to say more? Okay. So all the things that you've been scared of, they're saying it's time to turn your dreams into reality. So it's time to dissolve that limiting thinking and those self-sabotaging behaviors and understand the roots of that, okay? If you guys need help, you can always come to coaching with me or for guidance. And um, it's important, it's important to face ourselves so that we can learn how to shift these beliefs because this is gonna open up so much more than you ever imagined, so much more. And the bottom of this deck is Moon Cycles. And we've seen this card recently, and I feel like, oh my gosh, so many of the feminine especially are syncing up to the Moon Cycles, both in their menstrual cycles, as well as in manifestation and masculine. Your feminine side is probably synced up to the Moon as well, and it's important to key into that in terms of your emotional awareness Archangel Haniel is saying, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. So here we are coming into a new moon in Taurus at the end of the week. And this is a beautiful time to be visualizing and, you know, dreaming without limitation. Okay, this is where we want to set our intentions. And then lastly, and I apologize if I'm a little, I'm trying to Talk. I'm trying to talk really like I don't, hi today because um, I'm really raspy. <laughs> we have like pollen here and I've been running my air purifier. So my voice is a little scratchy. So I'm just talking a little bit higher to overcompensate, I guess. don't feel like I have a throat chakra blockage. I actually feel good. I just think it's a little bit of the pollen and probably needing to drink more water too for me. All right, so from the Sacred Earth Oracle deck, space. 
So some of you are giving, really doing a good job at allowing, starting to allow the other person space. You might be taking some space and time for yourself. And see this sort of new moon here? This is saying the space is good. Any, any of you who are, are taking space or allowing the other to have their space in your twin flame connections, it's really good. It's really positive. It's really going to help heal things. See all this fiery color here? This is all going to start to heal when we get back into the fire energy in August. So the space during this time is needed. The space that you start to create now in any situation that needs healing is going to be pivotal, especially with your twin flame connections. I also feel like this might be about, for some of you, like moving into a new literal space. That's another thing that's up for manifestation. A lot of you moved like last fall and winter and some of you even during this winter. But now there's a whole nother wave of you that are about to break from like karmic situations, um, codependent situations and you're going to be breaking out into a new space. And some, for some of you, this will happen over the summer. Okay? And that feels very positive. It feels like self-reliance and it feels like determination. It's backed by determination, belief in oneself, and self-reliance. Okay, so in some regards, it's about emotional space could be like physical space given between the twin flames but then also I'm seeing some of you moving into a new space as you leave karmic relationships or codependent um, relationships over the summer for some of you we have two stuck together so there's obviously a meaning here okay so core and specialization So I really feel like they're stuck together because it's saying in order for this to illuminate and for you to, you know, go through that full metamorphosis, those butterflies are there to, and look how the core is highlighted right here too. This is about the chakras balancing and you balancing so that you can work your magic and step into like your unique gifts and giving of them in a more balanced way. Like some of you have been asking like, why don't I know what my mission is yet? Or why haven't I been? Because you needed to do more internal work, more internal balancing. And now that's all gonna start to pay off, okay? And so this, all of this change and transformation is either starting to happen, has been slowly happening, but it's gonna be like this metamorphosis over this year where you will be step it, step into your purpose more and more and this is all connected to your confidence center your self-worth your self-value and that's what needed to be healed first before we could end up here so we couldn't have stepped into some of you couldn't have stepped into your mission because this alignment with your integrity with your worth healing that balancing that needed to happen okay Okay, and perspective is coming up. And this card is saying, as we leave our thinking minds, our logical loop thinking, limited belief type thinking and, and mind work, we're going to start to receive the higher perspective and not only that, but really trust in it enough to walk through our life in the earthly realm with it anchored into our knowing. So where you're emanating the belief of trust rather than fear. So this is about many of you making that shift in perspective. More specifically, some of you are going to have to shift your perspective from 
specific to general. And what I mean by that is because we've just released old timelines, and as I told you, like some of those timelines had expectation attached to them. Moving forward, as I've been saying, more than what we expected is about to show up for us. And so in order for that to happen, we get to kind of shift our perspective and just allow for like the unknown. The unknown is going to show up for us. The even better is going to show up for us. So this might be a shift away from your normal thinking where you need to know and you have to know and there's that dichotomous thinking or those absolutes or um, you've got to figure it out and you need the answers and this is a more open-hearted way of moving forward with truth and you know I, she feels to be pregnant which is like cre moving forward with creation energy and looking at the world from a bigger perspective, looking at your situation from a higher perspective. Hello, this must be why I put together the 5D Twin Flame audio meditation because that's the higher perspective of your connection. For some of you, the meaning of your connection is not necessarily romantic union and you're going to allow for that now. And it's okay to learn that. And for some of you, you know that union is imminent in a physical sense and you're going to be able to shift your perspective to see it from the bigger picture and to pull your energy all the way aligned with yourself so that you can create and keep creating your own path until the time is right. And the bottom of this deck is surface. And this is like everything that has come to the surface to merge, which I was talking about when I drew the earth, the earthquake um, visual. This is about integration. This is about the stuff that we've just pulled up and moving forward as one rather than the duality of two that we've been kind of stuck in. This is moving out of old patterns of, you know, trigger, because we get triggered from all the subconscious wounds, right? So when we've brought that up for purging and healing and clearing and integration, we can move forward. And that's what this is about, this integration to move forward, create the new beginnings, create the highest timelines and outcomes. So I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope you've enjoyed the session. I love you guys. And I'll see you towards the end of the week for the new moon reading. All right, if you guys want to work together, don't forget spiritualmaterialgirl.com. Download, uh, you know, you can just click on the homepage or the session page to order those um, uh, audio meditations with the audio meditation pack. Okay, love you guys. Mwah. Bye.